Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, this chart. If you are not worried, I am. Just so you know, 40% of all the money printed in America was printed in the last year or so. Let me say this one more time, please listen. 40% of all money that was ever printed in America was printed in the last 15 months. 1959, 138 billion. 08 housing crisis, 1.5 trillion. And today it's 19 trillion. That's 40%. And you know what is crazy? And all this money they printed is recklessly thrown around. You know what happens? No matter who they give the money to, guess where the money's gonna flow? It's to the rich people. The rich got richer. And it's not because the rich are bad. Poor people do not understand money. I try to keep the topics light and easy as I can. When you flood the economy with money, what happens? It's like tits. The more padding you stuff, the more support you give, but does the actual tit volume change? The house you were able to buy at 100,000 now costs 200,000. What changed? The world, walls got thicker? The value of everything increases, like the stock market, lingerie, food, everything. This is what worries me. There are still some people asking, is it too late to invest? You look at this chart and you tell me, if your goal is to be short-term smart by timing the markets, be my guess. Granted, my timings may not be the best, but so far all my closing trades are in profit outperforming most FMs and MFs. But that doesn't mean I will not make a mistake. Do you know how much cash I hold? It's less than half of a percent of my total net worth. And this is how little I think of cash. Cash is trash. Have you played Monopoly? What if one of the players can print unlimited cash? What does the cash you currently hold means? This is nothing. This is the world we are living in. And yet there are so many people by no fault of theirs hold cash because they've been brainwashed. This is what worries me. You know my goals is to bring as many people as long as possible. I'm the most transparent person I know of without a paywall. I post my trades on here and Twitter. You know, I risk my privacy showing my entire portfolio. It's tiring, but I try. For me, my strategy is all in minimum cash and holding power when the market drops. And when there's a crash, I'll find money via leverage. So usually, I'm cash poor because I know cash is trash. Again, how do you play a game of Monopoly when one player can print all they want? So don't listen to losers who sound all smart by giving like financial advice, reading complicated numbers. Results matter more. I wouldn't listen to anyone who has been underperforming the index for the past five years with this massive bull run. It makes you a bigger loser listening to losers. Wrapping up, I'm just connecting the dots in my head, you know, print money, interest rates, monetary policy, politics, and you know, when that amount of money is printed, it has to go somewhere. I like stocks for the best risk to reward ratio and a small percentage to crypto for high reward, high risk place. I hope you learned something. It gives you clarity. Appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, invest safe.